There's no doubt that the Apple AirPods have taken the world by storm. They're not fitness headphones, and yet about one in four people at my gym have them, probably yours too. What if there's a better alternative for those of us who are active and also for Android users? Meet the Jaybird Vista. The Vistas are similar to the AirPods and it's a true wireless headphones, but they're made for fitness use, so they have a lot more of a secure fit, better isolation, and they're IPX7 waterproof and sweatproof, which means they can be submerged in up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes, and they're also resistant to dust as well. So let's take a look at these two headphones and what makes them different. The Jaybird Vistas are all about freedom. Freedom from wires and freedom from worry. There's nothing to get in your way and they store and charge in this tiny case, not much bigger than the AirPod case. So you can have this with you wherever you go. Whether you're headed into work, whether you're sitting at your job, you can use one of them at a time, whether you're riding your bike or you're going to the gym to sweat one out. Whether you're running a marathon or you're going to your next adventure, the Jaybird Vistas will always be with you. So I'm sure you're wondering about price. Well, the Apple AirPods, as you probably know, for version two retail for $159 for the AirPods with a charging case or $199 with a wireless charging case. While the Jaybird Vista retail for $180, which is kind of right in between those two. Now that is pretty expensive. These are both true wireless premium headphones, but that hasn't stopped anybody from buying the AirPods yet. If you guys do want to check the best available prices, you can check the links in the description below or head over to my blog at betterlifereviews.com to see the best available prices and whether or not either one of these are discounted. So I still get a lot of questions about what phones can be used with those headphones. Well, in short, you can use anything Bluetooth with anything Bluetooth. So yes, you can use the Apple AirPods with Android phones, and you can use the Jaybird Vista with iPhones. And that really applies across everything as well. So you can use both these with any computer also. Now, of course, in true Apple fashion, they're gonna make their products work better with their products. Having that W1 and now H1 chip, it's gonna be more compatible with their products. So when you use the AirPods on uh, Android device, you're gonna lose things like ear detection, uh, the ability to see battery status, the ability to change the double tap feature and all those things that you would get if you're using them with an iPhone, as well as you're gonna have some decreased range as well on them. So they definitely are better for Apple users. Uh, however, you're still able to use them with other phones and devices. Now there is a way to get some of those features back, like the battery status as well as the ear detection. Uh, and I will link the video I did on that below in the description if you guys wanna check that out. And I'm also gonna review some more apps coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. Now the Jaybird Vistas do use Bluetooth 5.0, which they haven't used before in a true wireless headphones. And they're gonna give you a lot better range, you know, with uh, Android phones you hadn't really had before. So there are only certain phones that are capable of doing Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, so that would, you know, your phone would need to be a newer phone. Uh, something like the Samsung Galaxy S8 and up and the iPhone 8 and up are gonna be capable of taking, uh, you know, advantage of that Bluetooth 5.0 which is gonna have better range stability and all that kind of stuff as well. And I have found that to be the case in these headphones. So Jaybird also uses something um, called the JBS1 wireless technology, uh, which they say ensures crystal clear, zero lag sound for video, music and calls, and a reliable connection that pairs easily with your phone every time. So uh, sounds sort of similar to what I imagine the W1 chip to be or the H1 chip. Uh, basically, it's, they had that Bluetooth 5.0 technology and they're also using some other features to allow you to get better you know, uh, call connection, better video connection, uh, reduce lag, and make them overall better. So like I said, Apple AirPods are gonna work better with Apple devices. So if you're using a newer iPhone, uh, you should get about 100 foot of range, which is really excellent. However, if you're using the AirPods with an Android phone, you're only gonna get more like a standard Bluetooth range of around that 33 feet, 30 to 50 foot range. With the Jaybird Vistas, however, they have Bluetooth 5.0, and they're not exclusive to any products, so they're gonna work equally great with an Android phone or an iPhone. So you're gonna get around that 75 to 100 foot Bluetooth range as well. Um, so I found these overall very comparable in terms of a uh, Bluetooth range. Uh, also very little lag out of both these headphones as well. Uh, very good Bluetooth stability. Uh, so overall they work really great. So in terms of charging and case, both these are actually very similar. Uh, so the Jaybird Vista case is gonna be slightly taller and slightly wider than the AirPod case, but overall they look very similar. Both these can be stuffed in a pocket, no problem. And of course, since they're carried with you and they both store inside their case and charge inside their case, they're always gonna be charged. Uh, the Apple AirPods do hold them magnetically in their case so they won't fall out. And same thing with the Jaybird Vistas, they're gonna hold them there magnetically, which means you're not you know, having much of a chance of losing either one of these. In terms of how the case charges, uh, you're gonna have six hours of charge roughly on one charge for the AirPods, and you're gonna have about six hours of charge also on the Jaybird Vistas for one charge. Now the Apple AirPods are gonna give you about 24 hours of total time combined with the case where the Vistas are gonna give you about 16 hours of time total with the case. So a little bit less time in the case, uh, but really not too bad. Then you can use each one independently and that will give you about 32 hours of total time when combined with the case. As far as quick charge features go, the Apple AirPods are gonna give you about three hours of charge off of a 15 minute quick charge. And the Jaybird Vistas are gonna give you about one hours of charge off of a five minute charge. So 
There is more time on the quick charging feature with the Apple AirPods, but still these are gonna give you an hour of charge for five minutes. And if you charge them for about two hours in the case, then you'll get a full charge. So in terms of how they charge actually in the case, the Jaybird Vistas are gonna have USB type C, which is great. A lot of previous headphones had USB micro, uh, where the Apple AirPods are gonna charge with a lightning cable. So again, if you're carrying an iPhone around, you're probably gonna have a lightning cable. Very easy to charge the Apple AirPods with that cable, uh, or you can get the wireless charging case. And with the Jaybird Vistas, you know, if you're carrying around a phone, the newer phone that's using USB Type-C, then you're gonna have a USB Type-C cable. So of course, if you're using them across platform, you're using the Vistas with an iPhone or you're using the AirPods with an Android phone, then you're gonna have to carry a cable for your phone and a cable to charge the case. Uh, additionally, the Jaybird Vistas have this kind of like little loop here, uh, which you can use to attach to, you know, backpacks, to carry it around, attach to your keys and that kind of stuff. Uh, makes it a convenient way to carry them. All right, guys, hopefully I'm not talking too loud here, but uh, this is the Apple AirPods. I'm sure you've seen them a million times. Looks kind of like a Q-tip. Kind of silly in my opinion, but um, everyone has them pretty much. It's not a big deal. This is the Jaybird Vista. Um, and they're still obviously noticeable, but they're not huge. Uh, they come in this black color. It's also in a gray and a blue color. So a little more conspicuous, looks a little bit nicer. Uh, and then in terms of how they actually function and sit in your ears, the Apple AirPods, you know, are just plastic. Uh, that's it. So they will have a little bit of uh, you know, the ability to get that ambient noise from the outside if you want that. So the Jaybird Vistas do have a lot of passive noise isolation because of having these ear gels and kind of blocking out all that outside sound. So it's gonna be a great thing if you wanna be immersed in your workout. You know, you don't really wanna hear the sound around you. You want to have that, you know, better bass and uh, kind of immersion into there. Uh, or if you're on a train or you're playing or something like that and you don't wanna hear people around you, then it's a great thing. Where it could be slightly a negative uh, is if you want to, you know, hear people around you if you're in like a study type environment or if you're at the gym and you don't wanna to have to take your headphones out to talk to somebody, um, something like that or if you're you know, riding a bike or running, something like that, and you wanna hear that kind of ambient sound, that would be kind of a negative. The one thing you can do then with the Jaybirds is you can um, wear one at a time. So these work completely independently. Uh, you can just wear one at a time, putting it into your ear. That way, obviously, in your other ear, you can hear the sound around you. It makes it a lot more safe if you're using them. Uh, it would be nice to have something like a hear-through. Uh, there's some other headphones that have that, uh, where you actually have the ability to be able to um, you know, pass that ambient noise into the headphones, and they use kind of the microphones in the headphone to be able to hear that sound in there. Uh, at first I thought it might be due to the waterproofing with the Jaybirds, but of course you can actually talk in them, you know, uh, make calls as well. So I don't think that's really the reason why. I will be something nice to include on the future version of the Jaybirds. Now you can get things for the Apple AirPods, uh, aftermarket, like a sleeve, a hook, um, a hook for around your ear, all that kind of stuff, a leash. Uh, but the thing you think about that with those is that if you use those, um, then when you put them back in the case, you're gonna have to take them off every time. Where with the Vistas, you know, they're meant to go in the case with this uh, ear jelly, call it the silicone sleeve. Uh, and it comes in a size one, two, and three. Uh, so it fits in the ear really well. In my opinion, it's you know, far superior. They're made again for fitness use. Um, so it actually suctions like into my ear, which is something that's interesting. It hasn't happened before with uh, Jaybirds that I've had, uh, but it actually will suction into there um, and really hold well. And this part will kind of sit into the ear and then the uh, ear hook will sit up in the front and kind of hook in there. And I've you know, done lots of dynamic workouts, jumping jacks, burpees, hit workouts, all that stuff, um, as well as running, of course, and haven't had them budge one bit. So a really good fit. And this, of course, then can go back into the case, magnetically held in there with the ear gel still on the bud. So as far as sound goes, I would say that the sound from the Apple AirPods are pretty good. You know, they're good enough for most people. As far as calls goes for the AirPods, uh, the sound is going to be better in calls because of this microphone sitting down here in the stem. Uh, it's closer to your mouth. Uh, it's going to get that better sound for making calls. So if calls are really important to you, uh, then definitely the AirPods would be something to look into. The sound quality for calls on the Vistas is not bad. I would definitely, it does sound a little bit more distant and you can tell that you know that you're using a ear pod to talk through. Um, again, not bad, um, but it is gonna be more up in your ear here and there's no external microphone hanging down. Uh, so call quality won't be as clear as it will be on the AirPods. As far as actual sound goes, it's pretty balanced. Um, it sounds nice, it doesn't distort. You got balanced highs, mids, and lows, but you don't get a whole lot of low in there. You don't get a whole lot of range or top end. Um, it just sounds overall, you know, pretty good. Where with the Jaybird Vistas, um, they don't sound amazing, I wouldn't say, but they do sound better. And what's really helpful for there uh, is that you can pull up the Jaybird My Sound app and go into there, and that allows you to customize the uh, the sound profile or the EQ of the headphones. So you can go ahead and customize your own sound profile if you want. Uh, you can actually alter the wave of the uh, the highs, mids, and the lows, and all the different peaks of that sound wave to get the best sound that you like. They actually have a test you can go through as well and customize that to your sound if you like. Uh, and then you can save that to, you know, to the app, to the headphones for the next use as well. And then you can choose some other ones, like there's uh, you know, like a balance profile or there's like a uh, bring the bass profile where you can kind of amp up the bass if you want. Uh, there's like a, you know, different genres like country and that kind of stuff. You can alter all that for the headphones very easily using the app. 
And there actually also is profiles that professional athletes have chosen as well who work with uh, Jaybird. So like, uh, you know, the Iron Cowboy and people like that, you know, they choose their own uh, profile in there. You can choose their profile and see if you like a sound prof profile for yourself. Also in the MySound app, they have the ability to, um, to track the buds. Of course, the AirPods also have that if you're using an iPhone. Uh, but they have the ability to actually track those buds separately. Um, so their last known location will go ahead and pull up the left bud and the right bud uh, and then allow you to track that by uh, the navigation in your phone to find out where they are. So pretty cool. You can also you know, alter the name of the earphones, uh, either you know, the AirPods if you have the Apple device um, or probably in your Bluetooth settings as well. Um, with the Jaybird, they allow you to alter the, uh, the name like Chad's AirPods, for instance. Uh, in the uh, app itself, so that's pretty cool. There also are a lot of guides, product guides, um, videos, step-by-step -step things, what's included, all those things can be found in the Jaybird MySound app, uh, and they're under the name of your headphones. So very convenient if you forget like how to do something, you forget the charging time, um, how long they're there for, you forget how to use the headphones in some way, I uh, can go ahead and pull those guides up there right in the app, and it's very convenient. The controls aren't great in either one of these headphones, and that's pretty typical true wireless headphones. Uh, for the, so for the Jaybird Vistas, there is this one button, the multi-function button, uh, which you press in. It does press into the ear a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, and then you can set that for single press, double press, and long press. So for single press, uh, one press will do play pause, activate your assistant, or do a custom function, but you have to have a Spotify premium account. So that would be like pick a Spotify playlist. For a double press, it is play pause, activate your assistant, open Spotify, and play workout music or again, that custom Spotify function. And then for press and hold, you can set it to either turn them off or you can do volume up on the right and volume down on the left. So with AirPods, you're just gonna have one feature on a non-Apple device. So uh, for my phone, the double tap feature, where you double tap on a stem, played and paused music. So that'll probably be the inbuilt feature on your Android phone as well. Now, of course, that will vary with an uh, iPhone and you can actually change the setting for the double tap by connecting them to an Apple device, changing the double tap setting and then that will apply to your phone as well. If you are using an Apple device, then you can set both EarPods independently for the double tap features. So that can be either to activate Siri, to play or pause music, to skip a track forward, to skip a track back, or to turn them off. And with the AirPods version two, they actually have the voice ability to say, hey Siri, and to activate Siri that way on an Apple device. All right, so which one should you choose? I'd say if you're an Android user, definitely go with the Jaybird Vista, where if you're an iOS user, it's a little bit more complicated. So the Vistas, like we said, have a lot of great features. They have that IPX7 certification, just into water, sweat, and dust. They work great with iOS and Android devices. They have that My Sound app available for iOS and Android. Or you can customize the sound profiles, the bass. Uh, they have better you know, sound isolation. They're gonna stay in your ear a lot better for sports type use and that kind of stuff. Um, where with the AirPods, um, they maybe have slightly better Bluetooth connection for iOS devices, but not for Android devices. Um, they do have a little bit more customization with a double tap feature on an iOS device, and they have a little bit better call quality. So those are kind of the benefits of having AirPods. Um, I'd say for most people, probably the Jaybird Vista is the way to go. I'll uh, leave it up to you guys. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure that you give it a like. Uh, make sure to send some comments down below if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe for future videos coming up. Uh, check out the links in the description below if you guys want to support the channel, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.